Hey guys, um, it's day two for me in the hospital, and I wrote some notes of things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, this morning, I woke up and had my upper GI first thing. I wasn't allowed to eat or drink anything yesterday at all. Um, they just wanted to make sure that there's no leaks before you go ahead and, you know, start having your liquids. Um, that was all good. I finally got to, um, have water right, like it probably two o'clock in the afternoon. Did not care if I had it really. I mean, I just, I wanted um, to swab my mouth or sometimes I like just put water in my mouth and just switched it around that way. It was not so dry. That's all I cared about. I haven't been hungry, haven't been thirsty, don't really care. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you guys yesterday, they put in um, pain block on both sides of my stomach, I guess when they did my surgery and mine was a little strong and it actually made like my hands numb the entire day yesterday and it took almost to the end of the day for them to not be numb anymore um i thought that was interesting i was really freaked out at first by that because i couldn't hardly text or anything um but i'm glad it went away it only took like a day and a half so um I was glad that they put a Foley catheter in when I was in surgery. They inserted it, so I didn't even know they did it. But um, they put all those IV fluids through you, and you would be up peeing like crazy, um, up and down, up and down, like probably every 15 minutes because you have so many IV fluids that first day. So I'm really glad they kept it in. Um, they just did take it out today, like, I don't know, probably noon or something like that. So, um... I'm going to show you guys my bed setup later in another video. It's uh, really cool and it really helped me. Um, they've got, I wanted to show you guys the, they've got like these special bariatric beds and it's got a pull up bar on them. Hopefully you can see that. And oh my god, it helps tremendously. I've actually hung my, um, my pain controller on it and my bed controller. And then my TV remote controller because I lose them otherwise if they're not on there. And I thought that was a cool place to hang them. Um, cannot make myself burp. I've heard, I don't think, I've had, like when you drink, there's bubbles that kind of like creep their way up. But it's not a burp. Um, it's really weird. <clears throat> and it's not like um, when you're a little kid and you can like burp the alphabet or whatever like. I can't do that at all. I don't know if that will change, but there's no making that happen right now. It's really weird. Um, I also figured out I would highly recommend that you guys do like two to three days of clear liquids before you come to the hospital, whether or not your doctor actually tells you to do that because um, I wasn't required to and I didn't. I just did the clears the very last day. and. Um, I have been like so in pain and constipation like it's horrible I wish I would have done the clears that way that you know I'm not in the bathroom trying to strain just to get gas out of my belly and it's not happening so highly recommend doing that whether you want to or not you'd be glad you did um as far as my guidelines for liquids, I had a hard time figuring out. My nurse did not even know what my guidelines were for liquids. So I wanted to tell you guys, um, you need to get in at least six to eight cups a day of liquids, um, which is 48 to 64 ounces over a 12 to 16 hour period. So I did the math on that and it's at least like four of those little single cups or like, you know, like the one ounce containers four of those an hour so like you know set an alarm for every 15 minutes and at first probably you're not gonna be able to get them down but you it just gives you something to work for even later on make sure that you know you're trying to work up to at least four an hour up to like I think I think I wrote down 5.3 ounces per hour is the upper limits of that um, and that's a minimum if you can get in more that's better um, I think that's all I have for you guys, and I'll attach the other videos to this so you can see those too. See ya. Okay, I wanted to show you guys, um, well, here you can look at my room first, see what it's like. 
Um, but I wanted to show you my little bed setup because um, I brought one pillow from home that purple one in the back and then I had the hospital give me five different pillows and I got one for between my legs and then um, two for each side and then I've kind of like laid right here actually almost like halfway on my stomach but and it, it cradles me and gave me like awesome support and I slept so good I was so glad that I brought a pillow from home that I was comfortable with and I made him give me all these extra pillows because it made a huge world of difference for me. Um, so keep that in mind. I also brought like a little blanket from home because usually the hospitals are cold, but this time it wasn't that bad. I still liked it though because it's way softer than their scratchy little blankets are. I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, <clears throat> my throat's been really sore from that um, intubation tube and um, I didn't know we were allowed to have chloroseptic spray, but one of the nurses said she'd give it to me. So, sugar-free chloroseptic spray. It's not bad at all. It's like probably one of the best ones I've ever had made by rugby, I guess. Um, they actually let me have um, a little bit of jello. That's all I ate of it. It's not all that great. Um, I had like two of these uh, chicken broths too and I had you know a little bit of water and um, I'm not hungry like at all I'm not thirsty at all I've kind of just been drinking it that way I can you know show them that I can leave um, hopefully tomorrow here it is I got um, One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is um, where they've taken my gallbladder out. She has like dented really weird too, which is, I'm, I don't love it, but um, I'm sure I'm gonna get plastics after this because I'm gonna have a lot of like hanging skin. So, I'm not too worried about it. If I wasn't planning on having plastics, I probably would be really bothered by it, but it may even shrink. Um, my belly looks like it's huge today. Usually it's, uh, you know, like right in line with my boobs, so it looks like really swollen. 